believe, but Saturday's here. Welcome to your weekend review for February 24, 2018 on the All About Your Benjamins weekly mixtape. A uh, shortened week thanks to President's Day, so not a lot of news. We should be able to get through this week's video pretty quickly. But first I want to start with a big thank you. Uh, I want to thank everybody who tunes into these videos, reads the blog, listens to the podcast. I really appreciate your support, uh, so I want to thank you very much. I hope that uh, you're getting some value out of the content that I'm uh, putting out there. The whole goal behind this, while I enjoy doing this, is to try to help educate you about different areas of your personal finance. So if I'm doing a good job, feel free to let me know so I keep on doing that. And if I'm not, send your constructive criticism or even your negative criticism, criticism if that's your style. Send it my way so I can make sure that what I'm doing is actually helping you learn more, uh, pique some interest that you may have regarding your personal finance so you can take more control and improve your situation. So for everybody listening, watching, reading, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Uh, feel free to share with friends and family to spread the word. I want to try to get in front of as many people as possible and help as many people as possible. So thank you. Uh, well, let's get to your week in review. Uh, real quick, market news. Markets ended the week higher, uh, continuing the recovery from the correction of a couple weeks ago. Not a lot of exciting news out of there, just kind of some more volatility, some, some bigger days, some big down days, some volatility. So this year is shaping up to be much more volatile than last year. So just mentally prepare yourself for that and actually realize that last year's kind of calm, continuous move upward for the most part was actually abnormal the breadth or the range that the markets moved last year in the US markets at least uh, but even internationally was not normal so this year is actually the peaks and valleys and the highs and lows is actually a little bit more normal so just be prepared for that to maybe be the theme for this year and not react to short-term news which hopefully you're not doing um, so that's all I really have for you on the market side of things as I was scanning my notes looking at the articles that I liked and posts that I liked throughout the week um, the big topic that really came up was this continued conversation about gun control off of the school shooting down in Florida. And um, one of the things I thought was pretty encouraging and just wanted to have a quick comment on is uh, how a lot of these high school students are actually making an impact in such a short amount of time. It's kind of encouraging to see this young generation actually speaking up for themselves when the grown-ups aren't doing it and enacting change and getting big platforms. I think CNN had a town hall with the high school kids and Senator Rubio and there was some some very confrontational dialogue between the students and him uh, but it's all good. Um, so it'll be interesting because a lot of these kids are going to be voting in the next election so uh, where for the longest time the older generation had the eyes of the politicians and the votes to start swinging things. Um, I think that may be, the ties may be changing. I don't know if that's a good thing or bad thing, but at the end of the day, I think it's good that there is this new, new found of um, activism and, and, and paying attention to what's going on and the younger generation, which is crazy for me to say younger generation because I think I'm young. Uh, but anyways, so I just thought that the gun control conversation was encouraging that this time, unlike after the Vegas shooting where it kind of just dropped off, it's not going away and there is actually movements being made, sit-ins or sit-outs with students to try to get their point across. So I say keep it up. Um, things need to change and conversations need to be had and this is the way that this is going to go. So uh, more power to these young kids and hopefully they keep it up. One of the investment things off of this that I did think about was uh, the impact of firearms and, and guns and this ESG investing movement that's going on. So I've written about it before, I'll link to it down below, but ESG investing is just investing in themes that are environmentally friendly, socially friendly, corporate governance is, is solid. Um, so a lot of these weed out or do not invest in firearms. And I think that this may be a theme that we may see more people wanting to make sure that they've minimized or eliminated if possible investing in firearms until things get changed. I actually had a few clients reach out to me and we've tweaked their portfolios to be able to do this. So I think that this will just further add to the momentum behind this ESG investing space. If you're interested in it, read the articles below. I have some links to some other articles about this space. Uh, it's not just firearm focus. It's bigger picture but this is one of the areas that gets screened out in ESG investing so I think this will only help that movement which I also think is good. 
Um, the Mueller investigation is staying in the news again. It was in the news last week because it had a short-term uh, negative reaction in the market. Well, we had another guilty plea by a uh, former Trump aide in this investigation. I only bring it up because it's not going to be going away. This investigation is going to continue and will have potential short-term impact on the market. Probably mostly negative when things come out, but there may be a time where something uh, looks like it's going to occur that may be positive. Regardless, the market moves from an event like this, I don't think you should react to very quickly. Uh, so that was in the news. And that's really the biggest things that I could find. I'm sure I might be missing something, but um, ending it up, the Olympics are continuing. Uh, we enjoyed uh, continuing to watch it. The women's hockey match was awesome. I'm sure you saw the highlights. Shootout was pretty cool. And last night I watched the team uh, downhill skiing competition, which was side by side, country versus country, slalom downhill. It was actually pretty cool. Um, so I thought that was a pretty neat addition to the Olympics because I think it's a new, uh, new event this year. So Olympics will be wrapping up. Uh, last weekend was the All-Star Weekend for NBA, which I talked about, obviously was excited about. Dunk contest, meh, just okay. Um, Three-point shootout was just okay. The All-Star Game was actually better, so we enjoyed it at our house. Uh, the President's Day holiday actually allowed for the boys to try to stay up and see it all, but they failed because it starts so late. But anyways, the, the All-Star Weekend wasn't too bad. We enjoyed it. And if you've been reading the blog, you know that the CrossFit Open started this week. I completed 18.1 yesterday, 310 reps. I uh, felt good about it when I was doing it, felt good when I got after it, talked to some friends. They did better, so now I'm kind of bummed, wish I would have done better, but I probably will not be doing redoing this workout. Uh, if you're interested in CrossFit and seeing the, the Open for me, I'm going to be writing about it once a week on the blog to not annoy everybody but put a little bit out there and I'll make sure to put a little video of me in pain uh, doing the workouts but the open is underway always a fun time for us crossfitters um, and finally on the podcast I had a great conversation that I posted on Tuesday with Leanna Hawkins make sure to go check that out especially if you're interested in getting a handle on your finance and you're a younger person but it actually can apply to everybody and I'm really excited for this upcoming week's podcast with Corey Hofstein I've edited it already I'll be wrapping it all up and getting it going so it will be out on Tuesday as well. Um, and that's everything for your Week in Review. Make sure to check the articles down below for the weekly mixtape. As always, I think I have a, a lot of good ones down there. So make sure to check those. And uh, continue to follow on Twitter at Justin Costelli, J-U-S-1-0-C-A-S-T-E-L-L-I. Uh, you can follow the blog, subscribe to the blog, allaboutyourbenjamins.com. Uh, and then the podcast, All About Your Benjamins, the podcast is on iTunes as well. And I put the podcast episodes on the blog. And there's also an Instagram account out there for my firm uh, to get a little bit more insight onto what it is that I do outside of the social media. And that's RLS Wealth Management on the Instagram handle. So with that, I'll let you get to your weekend. Hope you have a great weekend, and we'll see you uh, at the next episode.